Good morning, everybody. I'm making this video for a seller on Mercari. Uh, I bought this amplifier, TXP1 3500. It was advertised as new, not like new, but new. And, uh, you know, after receiving and inspecting, it's obvious to me that it's not new. Um, in addition, the output power was low. Uh, it worked, but uh, the output power that should be about 1200 RMS at one ohm acted like 200 RMS at one ohm. So anyway, uh, it just so happens I have already a new in the box unit exactly like that. So this is the one I received and uh, it was shipped in a brown paper around this box. I mean, at least it wasn't just shipped in the box. And you see the uh, labels on the back of that. Various labels over labels. And this was actually on the bottom. This was not on top. And we'll set that to the side here. And this is how it was received. Now, you know, I knew because I've bought a lot of stereo stuff. Uh, they come in a plastic bag. And it's not in a plastic bag. And uh, furthermore, the film, these come new with a film on the plexi windows. There's no film on it. Okay. All right. Well, let's, let's look. Hmm. Okay. Well, first of all, uh, there's only one sticker there for that one. Um, there's the manual warranty card. There's no warranty card in that one. There's no foam topper on that one. All right. There's no bag around the amplifier. All right. So that's... Uh, and over here in the new one, you've got the remote, you've got the screws and Allen wrenches, and you've got the feet for the amplifier. Over here, you've got the remote, you've got two feet. And you've got a bunch of loose parts. So, uh, you know, already we're pretty much, that's not new. It's a return, it's a whatever it is. So, that's that. And uh, if we gently take it out of the box, you know, you see some nicks on the aluminum. There's a few scratches on the plexi. And if you turn it around, well, look at that. There's feet mounted. And uh, you see those little scratches on the feet? That means it was screwed down. So, uh, yeah, and there's a few more blemishes on the amplifier. Uh, and then you look over here. Okay, there it is. You've got... Uh, scratches on there you've got what appears to be heat sink compound there and some sort of grease so you know i'm not even going to put it on the bench because i already benched it uh and then when i benched it as i said uh this one with the and you know you guys know, I got my normal test equipment, my Alpine and 14.7 uh, volts and, you know, the stuff that I test gazillions of other things on. Uh, I noticed on this one, I had to turn the gain. Now, first, before, you know, everything, I always check the settings before I turn anything on. The base boost was at 35 the level for the base boost was wide open the gain was wide open all right so i turned all that stuff down set the crossovers 
hooked it up. Uh, did not use the base boost because you know you should really normally shouldn't use that. Uh, into the two ohm Cliff Designs subwoofer that I use commonly to test. The gain, I was able to go wide open, and it still, it was, uh, like I said, I could pull a 200 watt amp off the shelf and it would do more than what this one did. So there's, you know, there's mechanical issues with it. It is not new, not hardly. Uh, and just to verify, I pulled this one out. And, you know, one that... Uh, you know, I think I've tested that before. I know I've got a video up where I tested this. And I want to say, you know, gain was, wow, maybe 10 o'clock, you know, to substantial power, enough to get to clipping. And sure enough, I put it on the bench, and it was about 9.30, 10 o'clock on the gain. And it was gigantic, you know, the difference. Uh, so... The seller decided to message me after I did the return, and they accepted the return, the uh, company, Macari. Um, the seller wanted to insist that uh, that amplifier is new. Uh, so I tried to explain to the seller, uh, maybe, maybe you're not familiar. Maybe, you know, you just aren't familiar with car stereo stuff, and... You say you tested it, and it worked. Okay, well, it, it does work. It works at about 20% uh, of what it should, maybe less, but it does work. And the seller messaged me, you know, after the return is done, and said, you know, this is, is a new amplifier. There's nothing wrong with it. It's new. It's not new. It's not. So, to the seller, and I'm doing this for the seller and, you know, for other people that buy used equipment on a website or what allegedly new equipment on a website, man, know what you're, know what you're buying, test it. If you can't carry it somewhere to a car audio shop, get it tested to cover yourself because, uh, you have sellers like this one. I won't name the name. Um, either they don't know. Or they're intentionally dishonest. I don't. We'll assume that they just don't know. They're just not familiar. Um, but even to the seller, you know, if, if you have an item that has the mounting feet partially, at, you know, too attached and too not, and loose parts in here, even if you're not familiar with this item, uh, they don't come new bare like that out of a bag they don't come partially assembled they don't come with with scratches on the mounting feet let's see if we can get that to focus mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah like that you know that's not new so please don't try to sell to people something and call it new call it like new call it excellent condition but don't say it's new you're you're misleading people um, it's just not good. So anyway, that's it. Have a good day.